All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to pull your SDR. An SDR is a solution design reference document. It's basically your Adobe Analytics implementation for like any given report suite, and it shows all the variables, EVARs, props, and events, your success events, metrics, that are basically set up enabled or disabled on a site. Uh, it is meant to be ran regularly. Usually some people automate it. I ended up uh, getting it automated with Python and in the beginning though this was the very first R script that I had ran and it had inspired me to get involved with R and I loved it and led me to this site which is the author of the last article he's got a site that's dedicated to a lot of Adobe Analytics R scripting as well as the R site catalyst package and when I did some digging around I had found um, another article by Tim Wilson He's another um, blogger, R enthusiast, uh, analytics professional that I follow, and he's doing a Google Analytics uh, audit here, but I had found that he also had an Adobe Analytics uh, GitHub repository, and so you can see it right here. And it's under, right here, Adobe Analytics Audit Doc. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this repository, and you're gonna go to Download, Zip, just like this okay once we've downloaded it we're gonna open it up and then what we're gonna do is we're going to extract all and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to wherever you put your R projects okay and so I'm gonna throw mine in here and then I'm gonna hit extract okay so that's done and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over to R if you don't have R installed that's a whole nother topic so we won't worry about that right now but I'm gonna go to file new project not going to worry about saving this and what we're going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and aa audit video okay and then what i'm going to do here i'm going to blur out a little bit the, a little bit of this because i have to actually um input my client id and secret so what I'm going to do is go right here and I'm going to pull this. Okay. And then this is the script from that GitHub repository that we just saw. Now, I believe in here it has it already set up. He made it so convenient that it's going to install these packages if you don't have them installed. Perl is a big prerequisite, so you might want to look up installing Perl and making sure you have it ready and compatible with R, the way to do that is you have to install the right XLS package because it helps write the data over to an Excel file. And this command right here will actually test your Perl and you'll see something like this. Well, probably because I don't. Oh, do I not have it installed here? Come on now. Killing me, okay. Let's go ahead and show you real quick installing this package. So, okay, just like so. Perl found all required Perl modules were found. So that's how you know if Perl's installed correctly and ready to go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just run this so I can install these other guys here. Okay, and so that's done. There is only two other things I'm going to do here. I'm going to go into Adobe Analytics and get my credentials. If you don't know how to do that, get them from your administrator, whoever's your administrator for your Adobe Analytics. Tell them you need your you need API access and the client ID and client secret. If you're an admin, just go to your user management and look up your profile and go to edit or view it. And in there, you should have your web um, service credentials in there. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and put those in here. I'm going to blur them out. And so really all I did was I put my username in here. It's usually your username and then your company and then a giant long set of random numbers and letters for your secret. Okay, make sure to keep these quotes here. You can remove these brackets though. So you want to delete all this and put it inside of those quotes. And then 
I put this here because I already ran it. So after I actually put that in there, I just ran this one line here and it loaded and authenticated um, to the API, okay? And so I don't wanna run it again, but you can keep them in there because you're not gonna be sharing a video like I am right now and I didn't want anybody else to see it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put your report suite ID in here. There's different options he has in here. If you wanna pull all report suite IDs, just for this demonstration, I'm only gonna do one. Okay, but it tells you exactly how to do it. I did this on my own without any help, just finding his repository I think you can manage. But if you just wanna test it out, just put one report suite name in here. If you don't know your report suite name or ID, go to your admin settings and go to the report suites menu um, and select that and it should have your report suites and their actual report suite IDs okay which is gonna be whatever it was named and so I'm gonna go ahead and put mine in here and I'm gonna blur it out and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run this Okay, and then I'll go ahead and get rid of this because I don't want anybody to see it just for this demonstration. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this whole thing. So I'm just selecting all of it and I'm just hitting run. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let this guy run. And then I'm going to show you what it produces here because it's going to take a few minutes. but usually doesn't take too long um, sometimes it can take up to 20 minutes though especially with this one because it's pulling a lot of information which I'm going to share here in a second and then it's going to go ahead and put it into a um, Excel file so I'm blurring this out down here because it's actually showing the report suite ID and then I'm going to go ahead and share the output and show you what it produces and it looks like it completed and it took 13 and a half minutes to run and then what you're gonna do is, I had to move back into my project folder because remember how I saved the zip folder separate from it on accident? I should have created my project first and then extracted the zip file in that folder or new project. But I had to pop back in here because I was over here in this one. So when I pop back in here, you can see here's the XLSX, the Excel file, and when you click on it and you go to view file, you have a full SDR for that report suite that you just ran through. So we only did one report suite. It's got all the event configuration in here, the EVAR configuration, shows all the different settings, serialization, allocation type, enabled, um, and then the EVAR name, and the EVAR ID, and then what type, and the merch if it's got merchandising, enabled <laughs> and any binding events that are enabled to it as well and then you can see here your props and then this one's my favorite it actually has your um, all of the data in here and it over to the right it's got if it has data or not a timestamp and shows how many instances or whatever values counter wise have been pushed total over here when it runs it and then um, further down it actually shows your e-bars and your props and it shows the top five values which is really cool and it shows um, those values so you can see if there's a formatting issue potentially um, so you get to do a quick scan through all of it and so that's one full report suite pretty fast simple um, the one other thing I wanted to say was if you do want to do the different options up at the top just to go over those real quick you have three other options um, you can put you can remove these number signs just from one of them don't remove it from all three so you want to make sure these other two right here that's not in there and then also um, it says basically what option number one is is you just insert this is the one I actually did right here where I just inserted one report suite or yeah, basically you manually put in each report suite ID and so you want to remove these brackets and put a report suite ID in here blah blah and then your other report suite in here 
blah, blah. And then your last one though, you want to make sure that it ends with the quotes, okay? And then actually pulled this down and butted it into this code line here of code. Okay, um, but the other options, I wouldn't do that one, honestly. I'd do it if you're just doing one single report suite ID. And then this one, this one pulls all of them. And so this one's cool because this is the first one I did, but it was a mistake because I have a lot of report suite IDs, like 20 different report suites. So it took hours to finish because it takes like 15 to 20 minutes per report suite. But if you have like three report suites, go for it. Use this one. And then all you really have to do is put in your, your authentication that I showed at the beginning of the video. And then there's this last one, which is kind of cool because if you only want to have a certain set of them, you can create a CSV file in Excel and you dump it in your project. It has to be in the same working directory. So you want to put it in here. You want to leave that in there. That's part of the actual um, function. So you want to put the name of the file here. So let's say I called it rsid.csv, just like that. And then you remove the number sign and that's it. Okay, so there's the multiple ways to do that there. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much, Tim Wilson and Randy Switch for putting these together. This was Tim's script straight from his repository. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, follow my YouTube channel and share the video with anybody you think can benefit from this because I really like to um, share as much knowledge as I can because it helped me um, progress a lot in my career and I hope I can help other people as well. So thank you for watching. Take care.